Hey guys, thanks for taking a look at this video. I'll go ahead and apologize in advance. I got a handheld camera with no stabilization, so I'll try to be smooth. And uh, it's a little bit windy out here today, so hopefully that doesn't interfere too much. Uh, but what I wanted to do was uh, give you a quick rundown on this car that I've got. Uh, it's a 1976 Mercedes-Benz 300D. Uh, it's the uh, W115 chassis. It's got the five-cylinder diesel, the OM617, the one that uh, Mercedes used for uh, the next 30 years, made them famous. These are the ones that go uh, half a million miles uh, without a problem. So um, this particular car, what I'll do is I'll give you a quick walk around and then we'll come back and I'll uh, get a little more detailed with some of the imperfections and then we'll take a look at the interior under the hood, all that good stuff. Uh, so this particular car, like I said, is 1976. Uh, it's got about 100 and almost 118,000 original miles. Uh, I've got uh, service records that go all the way back uh, to the original ownership. Back in 1975, it was sold at the end of that year. Uh, this particular color is called Colorado Beige in America. It's the 470 uh, color code uh, with the matching hook caps and it's a uh, it's a, it's a real nice color for this car, very quintessential for this uh, time period, <laughs> this time frame. I get a lot of comments on it because uh, it just goes with the car. I've had this car for about three and a half years. I bought it from a leak collector car auction uh, from another collector, like I said, about three and a half years ago. It's been an extra car for me, uh, just one that I drive on nice days, uh, you know, uh, cruise around on the weekend take my wife on a date stuff like that it's been a fun car I like these old Mercedes diesels man they were built to last uh, over engineered and uh, I've had a couple still have another I've got a, a wagon and uh, and I'm just a fan of them they're they're good cars uh, super simple systems to work on easy to work on yourself plenty of parts in the aftermarket uh, I try to stick with any replacement parts that are original manufacturers a lot of Bosch uh, stuff on these cars uh, things like that so anyways let's get closer in and I'll show you some of the imperfections uh, there's not a lot to speak of but uh, let me start with the with the most significant here in the trunk uh, this is prior to when I got it but uh, it does have uh, let's see if I can see it right there about five inches of uh, ch -ch -ch ding right there uh, chip the paint and then the same thing uh, right right in here right in here so you can see how thick the paint was uh, hard to notice but uh, it is there uh, the other things that I would mention on the exterior are going to be a couple of dings in the trim uh, belt line trim which is what it's there for but uh, nonetheless there's uh, there's a ding here uh, one here and one up here and Let's take a look at the other side, I believe, yeah, right here in the bumper, there's a little bit of a scrape in the uh, plastic bumper cover, and there's a couple of dings, I think, on this side, yeah, here's one in the back, right there, and there may be a few more uh, here and there that you can kind of see, maybe in the light just right, um, I'm not sure where I'd show you, but... Uh, but anyways, it's a nice looking car. Considering it's 40 years old, um, it does look nice. It does look real nice. Um, all the glass is in great shape. It all appears to be original Mercedes uh, laminated glass uh, from new. And it's all, uh, all in great shape, chip free. Uh, the trim is in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of hazing to it, uh, which is normal on these old cars. Uh, but could probably use some polishing uh, with the right stuff. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, cracking in some of the uh, rubber trim around uh, the front and rear windows. I haven't noticed any leaking or anything like that, so I haven't taken the time. I'd rather, if it's not leaking, if it's doing its job, I'd rather leave the original in there and, uh, and go with it. Uh, so as far as uh, the body itself, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's got most of the original data plates and placards and whatnot uh, still in there. Check this out. This gets me. This is the this is the door striker, the latch. Look how thick that is. 
and these doors still shut like it's brand new. I don't know if that sound comes across on the video, but man, these things were built to last. Built to last. So, uh, fuel filler door back here uh, still has the original placard in there as well. We'll go ahead and take a look at the trunk while we're back here. Uh, the trunk's in nice shape. I got some of my gear uh, back here and whatnot. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, one thing when I bought it, uh, it came with uh, this AC compressor, remanufactured AC compressor, uh, which is new in the box. I never hooked it up. This is a factory air conditioned car, uh, which, you know, you know, from 1976 is not that common to have AC, um, but it's factory AC, but the AC is not hooked up. Okay, it's got the uh, compressor that came with it. And uh, you can see where the lines are tied up. Let's just look under the hood. Like I said, I drove it on nice days here in Arkansas. We've got four seasons, and I just never, never saw the need for it uh, to go through the trouble of trying to get it put together. But I know that would be nice to have. So uh, under the hood, it looks nice. Uh, you can see uh, where the AC lines are uh, closed off where they uh, would go so but we've got the pieces and the hard stuff to, uh, to it so uh, I'll go ahead and mention I tried to do uh, most of the maintenance myself I just did a uh, valve adjustment on it which uh, these need to be done every so often every year or so depending on how much you drive uh, I replaced some of the uh, the fuel line uh, between here uh, they were starting to weep a little bit Uh, which are common for these to get hard and dry. The connectors are in good shape. I think the owner before me uh, probably replaced uh, a lot of those. So as far as the ownership, here's what I know. Uh, the records go back all the way uh, to when it was new. And I'll show you some of those records. And it was serviced at a Mercedes dealership for uh, a long time. I've got records up to, up to about uh, 2001, uh, which is, I think, about how long the original owners uh, owned it. Um, and so it's pretty from there uh, till now I don't have uh, a lot of records but I can tell some things have been done uh, such as uh, uh, such as evidence like those connectors under here uh, the exhaust system when we start looking under there I'll go ahead and show you what we can see from the front not much you can see uh, from the front uh, except that there's no corrosion you can see it's very clean very clean under here and uh, let's look at the back. Sorry for the shakiness here. Look at the back. Uh, you can see the exhaust is in good shape. The underbody is in good shape. Really nice. You can kind of see uh, the new uh, calipers installed. On the rear, uh, you can see uh, here this is the rear tire. You can see their undercoating. Uh, factory undercoating still intact in good shape. You know, it's cool to think these cars were four-wheel uh, independent suspension as well as uh, four-wheel disc brakes. You know, 1976 is what we're talking about. Um, factory AC. Uh, these cars, uh, safety-wise, if you look in here, we've got uh, three seat belts. Two of them are the uh, are the full three-point harness. Uh, this car has particular uh, electric windows, uh, central locking system. Um, it's just a nice car. It's a nice car. Like I said, uh, the maintenance, I try to keep it up and do it, uh, do it myself. I've only driven it about 6,000 miles, I guess, in the, uh, in the three or so years that I've had it. But it always starts right up. Um, I keep a box of uh, spare parts, filters, things like that. I do have a factory Mercedes a block heater that is not installed, um, but uh, it doesn't take much. Uh, the average uh, mechanic can install one of those, no problem. And this thing will start right up, uh, even in 32 degree weather. Uh, let the glow plugs charge and it'll uh, start right up. So let's take a look at the inside. The inside, as far as the uh, data code, is called uh, Bamboo, uh, which is common. It's an MB Tex. Uh, which is their uh, 
uh, one of their most popular uh, they still put them in them today uh, it's got the rosette uh, the perforated pattern as you can see on the seats the seats are in fantastic condition uh, front and back uh, no problems there and here's uh, some of the records we'll go over in just a minute but the seats are in great shape uh, it's not uncommon for especially the front seats the uh, the seat bottoms uh, to wear out and uh, become uh, flattened uh, but these are just in really nice shape let's go around and then we'll get on the inside and take a look all right once again this is a factory AC system the AC is not hooked up but does come with the factory uh, factory Becker uh, Europa same uh, same radio they were putting in Porsches at the time. Uh, the heat works great. The heat is hot. I uh, have the original owner's manual, along with the uh, you can see the uh, the Mercedes uh, case for it. And something really cool about this one, as well as the original owner's manual, it's got the original delivery and data card, uh, which gives you some of the options. Uh, color codes, uh, things like that. So it's got a couple of copies of those, and uh, and it's just really cool to have. Um, you've got the uh, warranty and service policy that uh, has the original original VIN number uh, in it already. Uh, so just cool stuff, um, cool things to have uh, with older cars like these, which they don't normally don't normally have. Uh, so, as far as imperfections in here, I um, got that thing too full. As far as imperfections, the main thing I would point out is this is this mm -hmm. split right here in the top. It hasn't gotten any worse since I've had it, but I keep the car under cover and uh, I keep uh, sunshade in it anytime uh, I park outside. Uh, this is in pretty good shape. The rest of the dash is really nice. Really nice shape. I wish the sun was uh, working better with us as far as that uh, lighting goes. There's one hairline crack. It's hard to see. Just right there in the wood. Um, it hasn't gotten any worse either since I've had it, but uh, but it is there. Otherwise, the wood is in really nice shape. The dash is in nice shape. Um, these cars were the first cars to come out uh, from Mercedes with a uh, console in the center. Uh, it's got an armrest uh, front and rear. Got the front armrest and the rear. Uh, which is real nice. And here's a good view of the dash. It's got the newer star style steering wheel, which I do kind of prefer the old, but uh, you know, but what can you do about that? Uh, some people retrofit them, but I like this one because it's original. Headliner's in great shape. Just really nice shape. It's hard to hard to see. Um, the lights, the rear light comes on uh, when you open the rear doors, and the front courtesy light comes on when you open the front doors. So uh, kind of some thoughtful design uh, put into that. Um, the carpet is in really nice shape. The two things I would say about that is uh, right here behind the passenger, uh, the rear passenger, it's got some fraying. You can see it's starting to come undone. Uh, it's kind of odd that it's just right there in that one section because as you can see uh, the rest of the carpet is really nice. I uh, normally have, I took them out when I was cleaning, but uh, I normally have a full set, they're black, but they are Mercedes um, uh, floor covers in it, floor mats, but uh, unfortunately I don't have them in there today so you can see what they look like. <laughs> It's got uh, automatic, these, uh, the 300D, five cylinder diesel only came with the uh, four speed automatic. Uh, of course it's got um, the uh, four uh, window controls and the windows work well. Um, I'll show you those in just a second. Uh, that's a common thing to go out on these. Uh, one of them is a little bit slow but uh, it works well. Um, I thought this was kind of interesting and maybe somebody, a uh, Mercedes Benz Club, these are the original owners this little placard on the ashtray 
So I'm not sure what that is. Maybe some guys, some of you out there will know what that is. But I thought it was interesting. It makes me think that maybe they were, uh, uh, you know, enthusiasts of some kind. You know, that they were proud of their Mercedes. <coughs> you know, which is probably evident in the number of records that we have. So let me go sit in the driver's seat and show you the uh, instrument panel real quick. And... Uh, see what we can see so like I said it's got 117,000 original miles uh, everything works on the dash you've got the uh, you've got the brakes the courtesy light interior courtesy light uh, this one does have factory um, cruise control which works um, and it's got uh, variable timing on the windshield wipers uh, the lights which handle the, uh, the fog lights as well uh, this right here a lot of people don't know what this is this is the accelerator warm-up I forget the proper name out of the book but it's basically a warm-up uh, for the uh, engine when it's cold so when it's cold it basically adjusts the idle so when it's cold I turn it all the way to the left and that speeds up the idle uh, you turn it on it warms up faster and you adjust it you're supposed to adjust it to just to where it's running smooth and not bobbling because it's cold and then by the time it's warmed up you just turn it all the way down and you're good to go uh, so pretty neat there <coughs> dash vent controls uh, that's a mystery that I'm just starting to figure out as far as how they work uh, it's kind of interesting but uh, different positions for whether you want heat uh, from the defrost, from the vents, from your feet, front, back, whatever you want. So, all right, well, let's start it up real quick and take a look at it. Uh, here's the glow plug light. The glow plugs are fantastic on these. Uh, they are a little bit slower than what people are used to on the, on the newer ones, uh, but it's really not that bad. Uh, they work great. Uh, this one's a little bit warm, as you can see. I drove it over here, but, uh, but this thing starts right up. Never, ever had a problem with it starting. It's just a smooth, smooth ride. So let's give it a little. And this thing will cruise. I don't take it on the freeway much because I don't like driving too fast in it, but uh, you know, I'll cruise at 60, 65, uh, no problem. You know, these, uh, these have a reputation for being slow, and, uh, and they are compared to modern cars, but uh, if this one gets up and moves pretty good. It'll keep up with traffic. Uh, not a big. Uh, not a big deal there so anyways that's what we got that's what we got so let's roll out and I'll get a couple of broad shots I'm hoping I'm not missing anything um, let me show you this a lot of this uh, right here there's one uh, little piece that's been uh, taped but this is kind of getting dry along here like I said it still seals up good and closes well but uh, you know, in the future, might be something you want to want to look at uh, fixing or changing. Uh, so, some imperfections about this thing, and I'll and I'll get it wrapped up. Some things to note: um, the paint. Uh, you can tell I clay barred it a couple weeks ago uh, in preparation. I, I got it all smoothed up. It looks really nice. Um, you can tell that it's faded, sort of unevenly in spots. You know, maybe the sides are a little more faded than the. Uh, in the hood or the top it's got a real nice patina but um, I can tell that it's been painted at least once before uh, and I would guess by the private or the uh, previous owner to me uh, had it painted because of the other work that uh, that they obviously did getting it fixed up so you can kind of tell if you look uh, if you look like right there on that bumper pad same thing on the back and the other side uh, you can see just a little bit of overspray which lets me know that it's been painted once before uh, plus the pinstriping is nice and uh, and looks a little bit newer so it looks good um, definitely uh, you know 10 15 footer uh, if you wanted it pristine you'd probably look at painting it one day but driver quality uh, looks great uh, that carpet that I showed you um, and of course the AC not being hooked up is a uh, is something else you'd want to keep in mind um, also the central locking just this week since I've been driving it uh, to get it ready for sale uh, the central locking has been kind of slow uh, to close off which is uh, not too uncommon 
familiar with these old Mercedes, uh, the door locking systems, uh, the, the engine shut off, the HVAC, uh, the model after this, even the transmission shifting was controlled by hydraulics, um, I'm sorry, not hydraulics, but uh, by the uh, vacuum uh, pump, and you've got plastic lines that run all the way through the car. Uh, so this one has uh, the engine shut off, the HVAC, the doors, uh, the trunk, and the fuel locking are all controlled on um, by vacuum pressure. And so these plastic lines, if they get any leak in them, any any kind of uh, if they get loose or the connectors get brittle, something like that, and you get a leak, then you start getting a little bit of a, a, a funny business, you know, with uh, maybe it's slow to shut off or slow to slow to lock the doors uh, with the central key, whatever. Um, so that's something to think about. Um, I'm still tracking that one down. It's not a big deal. All the doors lock. Uh, you know, they open and lock just fine. It's just uh, nice having that central locking feature. Lock the, lock the front door and the rest of them lock. So, well, it's starting to get windy out here, and I've been long-winded in this video, but I appreciate you taking a look. Uh, 1976 uh, Mercedes-Benz 300D. Uh, if you're interested, give me a call, give me a shout, it is for sale. Uh, shoot me an email, I'll have it listed, I'm going to put it on Craigslist and eBay, and link to it uh, in the description. So, I appreciate it, thanks so much, take care.